What are you looking for? You looking for your boots? Are they playing hide and seek? They're hiding good. Oh, you're getting warm. <gasps> You found him. All right, y'all, welcome back. It is Sunday supper time. I'm about to start cooking. I already got the beans ready earlier this afternoon. We're making the really big lima beans, but it's not the green ones. It's the ones that some people call butter beans. It's the big white butter beans. <laughs> They're really big. So we're making those. We're gonna make meatloaf, boiled cabbage, mashed potatoes, cornbread. It's gonna be good, but I have to get the beans going first. I already did a quick soak when we got home. I put them in the pot, just let them come to a bowl. Oh, I washed them first, put them in the pot, let them come to a bowl, and then I just turn them off and let them sit for, I think it's, it's been about an hour now. So now we're gonna rinse them off again and put them in some fresh water, and I'm just gonna put some of these country ham chunks in there with them. I'll probably just take one of these chunks and cut it up into some smaller pieces and I'm gonna use the rest of it to go in with the boiled cabbage. They're gonna be doing some more pressure washing out back today. We're supposed to get a lot of rain, I think, next week. So while we have some sunshine, they're trying to get at least the back porch done and maybe be able to start on some of the house. I don't know, they might have to wait and do that after the rain, but they're trying to at least get the back porch done and stripping that stain off and all. I'm dreading the rain. We've been having some pretty days. I'm not looking forward to all the rain coming. We've moved everything that was on the outside of the back porch in here. So it's looking pretty crowded out there right now. I've got a load of laundry in the washing machine I need to put in the dryer, then we cook. All right, y'all, so I drained the beans and put them in some fresh water with the country ham chunks. I'm just cooking those on the stove top today because I started a little late to do them in the slow cooker and I'm gonna be using the Instant Pot for my mashed potatoes. My knob got here, you know, I lost my little Instant Pot knob. It got here and it works, so I'm great. I'm happy with that. <laughs> So we're gonna make those in the Instant Pot later. Right now, I'm making the meatloaf. This is my mama's meatloaf recipe. I've shared it with y'all several times over the past few years, but it is like, to us, it's the best meatloaf recipe, but I'm sure everybody could say that about their mama's meatloaf, but it really is so good. <laughs> So I have a little over three pounds of ground beef in there. I'm putting some salt, pepper, onions, and two eggs. This next ingredient is one that is a little surprising to people most of the time when they hear it. I actually don't have what I would normally put. I usually use sweet salad cubes. That's what my mama always used. Just a couple of tablespoons of sweet salad cubes, which are pretty much just sweet pickles. They're little pickle chunks and they're sweet. A lot of people, I guess, put them on salads. I don't know, they're called sweet salad cubes, so. I didn't have any of those and when I don't have it I just use sweet relish as a substitute and it's it works great you can't really like it doesn't give the meatloaf a pickly taste or anything it, it almost gives it a little bit of a sweeter taste because they are you know the sweet salad cubes and the sweet relish is a little sweet and we use saltine crackers instead of bread or bread crumbs saltine crackers is our favorite I've tried making this before when I didn't have crackers I used bread crumbs and we didn't love it so <laughs> I go to the store to get the saltines I used a whole sleeve and half of another sleeve, and now I'm just putting the ketchup. I don't normally measure the ketchup. I think I'll have the recipe down below for y'all where I, you know, did my best to figure out the measurements, but normally I don't measure it. I just put some in there, and I'm mixing it by hand because it's way too big, like too much, you know? <laughs> That's a really big bowl. I don't know if y'all can tell how big it is. It's a lot, and so it's too much for my mixer, and I could have used the hand mixer, but it would have been splashing meatloaf everywhere, so. I just mix it by hand and see if I need to add more ketchup as I'm mixing, you know, get it to where we like it, which is about like that right there. And then I just press it into the sprayed casserole dish and it goes in the oven at 350 for around 45 minutes usually is how long it takes. I don't put any ketchup or anything on top yet. I wait and do that at the end. So once I got the meatloaf in the oven, I went ahead and got the cabbage started. And I'm pretty much just doing the same thing with it as I did with the beans. We're just gonna put it in some boiling water with the country ham chunks, and that's it. All 
right, y'all, so it's about an hour later now. I'm going ahead and getting the potatoes ready. I peeled them, washing them. Now we're cutting them into chunks. And they're just gonna go in the Instant Pot for 12 minutes. I put one cup of water in there and the little rack, and then they just cook for 12 minutes in the Instant Pot, and I spill them out everywhere for me. <laughs> they're going everywhere. I'm very excited about my knob. We're gonna be making some Instant Pot yogurt probably tomorrow, so y'all make sure to come back for that. I'm excited to see how that turns out. When I got the potatoes started, I'm just making the cornbread, and I just used the recipe on the back of this. I think this is uh, like Indian, some kind of Indian brand yellow cornmeal. So we got the cornbread in the oven and I took out the meatloaf. It is done now. And I'm just putting some ketchup over the top. And a lot of y'all have told me to try putting brown sugar on top with the ketchup. I tried it this time. It is very good. It just, it really sweetens up that top layer with the ketchup on there. It's very good. I think I'll do that from now on. So then I just put it back in the oven for just about 10 minutes, 10 to 15, just to warm up that ketchup and everything on top. Okay, while everything was finishing up, I cleaned up the kitchen real quick. Now we're just finishing up with the mashed potatoes. I put some butter, salt, pepper, mayonnaise, and a little bit of milk. I know a lot of people don't put mayonnaise. Like most of the time people ask about that. We've always put mayonnaise. We have tried it with sour cream because some of y'all told me it was good and it is really good. If you're out of mayonnaise, try sour cream, it works. <laughs> Giraffe's long good night will wash away your busy day inside the bubbly tub. What a soapy sudsy long good night. Hey, it's a tub Are you gonna read the story? I do Okay, read it to us. Is he getting his jammies? Nope, robot sleepy. The robot's sleepy. What about the giraffe? Is he sleepy? I go sleep. <laughs> 